not a necessity. That is his blanket. The one I rocked him in and carried him in every night of his life for over 14 months. The one he wore holes in the corner when he learned to suck his thumb. It's not a necessity, Peg. What we need are candles in case the power goes out. Do we even have candles, Peg? We won't need candles. We won't need light. Ah. Here we go. He was so full of life then, Leo. He was so happy. We all were. Yeah, I remember, Peg. All right. Well, listen, we need to focus on packing right now. All right? What's important is that we get through this together. Books and baby blankets are not tools of survival. Well, yeah. Neither is this. Let's not do this. Peg, you know we need this. You know this. We talked about this. If I don't have a gun, how am I supposed to keep us safe? Don't you remember at his graduation when he and I danced together? Remember, what was the song that was playing that night in the gym? Um, goodbye, sweetheart, goodbye. It's good night, sweetheart, good night. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, I remember. Oh, I remember thinking how incredibly handsome he'd become. How big and strong his arms felt around me, and how blue his eyes were. There's a moment in every mother's life, Leo, when she realizes her job as a mother is over. And for me, that was mine. Each family is allowed one small handgun. The gun must be unloaded, uh, and ammunition turned over upon entry to the shelter. In the case of an emergency, ammunition will be rationed out accordingly. See, honey, it's for our own protection. Do you remember the day we found him? Honey, don't do this. Do you remember what his face looked like? Do you remember how he looked with all the blood rushed from him? White as snow. White as death he was, Leo. White as the milk I'd once fed him. He was like a rag doll, just... just laying there. Hey, hey, look at me. Honey, hey, look at me. No, no, Leo. He knew what was happening to this country, and we wouldn't listen. He knew what was happening, and you wouldn't listen. But now you listen. I didn't spend four years in a bunker watching my friends and brothers getting shot up around me just so my kid could call this country a piece of shit and spit on the memories of those men. The war was a long time ago, Leo. This country's changing. I mean, look around you. Look at the way they're throwing people to McCarthy and his dogs. Yeah, and our son would have been next, and he knew it. You don't think I think about John every goddamn day of my life? He broke my heart, Peg. He shattered every dream I had for him. Am I supposed to stand here and let my kid tell me to, to worship Stalin, worship Hitler? Let the communists win? No way, not under my roof, not on my watch. Yeah, well, he's not on your watch anymore. Start of new 
life for us, Peg. Don't you worry about a thing. The U.S. government has never let me down. 